Lester wanted Franklin to meet him here for something. I wonder what it is. So what's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I sourced worked to child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planning lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. Now, he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm going to make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. So, you have to get to a hotel to assassinate the CEO of a pharmaceutical company to help Lester with his stock portfolio. And plus, the CEO is a I bum. Who's selling erection pills that give people heart attacks? And my motorcycle's not this way. I'm busy talking and I'm going the wrong way. I'm parking my motorcycle all the way back here. Hopefully my motorcycle's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Alright, so... Lester recommended we use a sniper rifle or a sticky bomb. I like the sniper rifle approach just because we don't have to get up close and personal with our target. You know, in case he has bodyguards and whatnot, it's easier to deal with him with a sniper rifle. Kill him, and then we can make a quick getaway, and it's all over from there. And it's better too because I have a sniper. My sniper rifle is equipped with a silencer, so I don't have to deal with all of that nonsense. Alright. Getting really close to where I need to be. Did I go down an alleyway? Ah, uh, nah, dude. That's why. Alright. So he does have guards. All right. Now we know. All right. Time to find a good vantage point. Is this a good vantage point? Let's see. Uh, yeah. This is actually a good vantage point. I can see everything. I know where everyone's coming. It's actually a pretty good vantage point. Now all we do have to do is play the waiting game. One minute and five seconds. That's actually a pretty long time. I wish we had more like 30 seconds to set up. Been a lot faster. Don't have as much time to wait. I should have also invested in that stock company that Lester was talking about. So, you know, we can make a little money on the side. Eh. I guess something I'll have to do for another time. 
Ooh, that car just passed right in front of me. Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! Alright. 29 seconds left, and then that CEO is dead. Oh, the bodyguards are getting ready. I guess they want to make a quick escape. Alright. 12 seconds left. We do have the bodyguard. Well, not bodyguard. CEO is coming out of the. So, since the bodyguards came out of this. Out of this general area, it seems like the CEO will come out of this area too. Alright, CEO is coming out now. And. Dead. Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. Dead. We got a shooter! Take cover! Dead. Oh, Let me get out of here. I need backup now! Oh, they're converging All nearby on me. units report immediately! Get out of here. I should have went further up, so they wouldn't have seen me. Hello, I gotta hide. Hopefully the cops won't see me here. They don't know I'm on a motorcycle. Alright, about to be make the clean getaway. Yeah, made a clean getaway. Boy. Hey, it's done. I know. Good work. All right, well, she, let me know about the next thing. Will do, uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and new property, so we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man, whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy-ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. So this is Franklin's new crib. It's a nice place to live. I like it. Let's go look, look on the inside. Eh, uh, well, looks like he just recently moved in, like Lester said. Mm, nice, nice living room. Uh, it's pretty good, decent working place. Ooh, look at that patio though. That's a nice looking patio. Can have some honeys over here for later. It's actually a really good place he's living in.